Hey, what's up guys? Hey, here's an update video on that solo cabinet from my last video. I managed to get uh, an extra 573 in from a guy online that was running extreme, um, legit, well, bootleg copy. Uh, so I took some of the parts from the existing solo cab 573 and I put them into the one I purchased, kind of a Frankenstein, and it works really well. Actually, the display looks better. Uh, it came with a flash, the linear flash, so I was able to upgrade it pretty quickly to um, Extreme Pro, and it works great in the solo cab. Uh, obviously, without the um, different harness for the buttons, it's a little wonky, right? So let's put some credits in it. So you can press the button like normal here. It's gonna bring you right into the menu, but then from there, you need to use the pad. So I can select a couple of things here. Difficulty is down. Or, sorry, it's right. Is it left? What's down? There you go. And then going back, I think, is left. So left and down. So for this, I'll just do that. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. You still have the black line on the top, and I think that's just the monitor itself. Um, but in terms of the overall graphics, way better. So from here, uh, song select, left. Obviously, on the extreme pro, all the songs are already unlocked. If I want to sort, it's left down. Yeah, it's a little funky, but it works. Select the song is typical. Select options. You're gonna have to pick it. Down and left. Really funky. Wave. Otherwise, yeah, it works great. Pad works good with uh, some shopping and mods I've done to it so far. So, yeah.